Hello YouTube, this is Reckless Prod again. Haven't been on this tutorial stuff for a while. Had school, now semester is almost over and I'm back doing my tutorials. Today's tutorial I'll be giving like tips on uh, lighting and uh, shadows in Cinema 4D. Most people have been asking me like, how does my text look so realistic and so so like sharp and as you can see my desktop background I made this one myself if you want to make sure to message me like share subscribe I'll, sh I'll send you a link this helped me out and I for now you help me I help you alright let's get into this so open up cinema 4d I already made a text um, you guys should know how to make that already now one of the biggest questions people ask me is how do I do like seamless backgrounds and whatnot this is how you do it you go to lighting here and you add a floor on the floor you right click cinema 4d tags compositing make sure you uncheck self shadowing and you check compositing background sorry about that now the next thing that you want to do is uh, you want to take your color, whatever color you want for the background, it could be blue, red, whatever. In this case I want white so I'm going to add white to here. Okay. Now let's see what we have. See now we have all this white and then this black over here. So in order to remove this black you go to the light and you click background and then you click here the color on the floor hold control click on it and drag it to here Hold on. there we go now see I render it and we have a seamless background so now what we want to do is add some lights because see it looks good kind of but it looks like it's just floating there. So now we need some shadows. So what we do is go to here. Press array. Then add a light as a child of the array. Increase the radius to you can do whatever you want. I usually do 500. Well, it depends on the size of the see 500 will fit perfectly for this. And you move the lights up however far you want it. Okay, so now I, as you can see, I added my lights and it's still kind of nice, but. It's, it still looks like it's floating in air. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to light, shadows, and add a soft shadow. Also, I'm going to decrease the intensity of the light since I already have white backdrop. I'm putting my light to 50. So let's see what I have now. See, that's a pretty big improvement right there. Let me increase the light some more. I'll be 75 because that looks pretty dark. Alright. Now this looks pretty good. Um, now the next thing I'm going to do, here's another tip. When In your render settings, you press effect here. And you activate ambient occlusion, which is right here, and global illumination. Mine is here because I activated it already. And when you go to anti aliasing, you go to here and you press best. And now let's see what we have when I render this out.
mind you, if you, I wouldn't recommend putting ambient occlusion and global illumination unless you have like a really fast computer. If you're making like an intro or something, but if you're doing just like a background or a picture, then do it. But if you do a video, it would really take a while unless you have a fast processor. And there you have it. It looks pretty damn good. This is uh basically what you have to do to get your text looking a little bit more realistic. Make sure you always add some shadows using the lights. Um, try using a ray. A ray is really good for lights because it kind of allows more light into the picture since they're coming from all angles and um, also try using the seamless background a lot if you really because sometimes people try putting like the background and then like the floor two separate colors but sometimes that looks weird and unprofessional so this is the way to go most of the times and I'll see you guys later next time for my next tutorial leave comments what you need help with um yeah and if you want my background remember to send me a message and i'll send it to you thank you